Hi, this is Miss Dia D Special Things. I'm attempting to do a process video. This is the mixed media morsel number 16, the butterfly embellishment. I'm using um, a baby wipe and some acrylic paints. Uh, the first one is Hydrangea Purple, that's by Martha Stewart. And now I'm laying down some Claudine Helpmith Studio Paint. It's called the Smidge of Purp I mean Blue. And this is um, just creating a background. I'm trying to get a smooth background, trying to get those colors too kind of blend in with each other mm, that's not working so well for me so I'm applying more I'll be working on this for a little while I kind of tried to speed up the video so that you wasn't watching me apply paint to paper but as you can see I haven't perfected that yet but now I'm going to try to add another color after I play with that smidge of blue for a little while longer. Yeah, I'm using a baby wipe um, to apply the colors. I like that technique. So now I'm going to apply some pink Cadillac. It's by Americana. I'm going to apply that to... Um, these two colors to see if I could kind of blend it in some. Hmm, it's not working so much for me. I think it's a bit bright. So I'm going to play with that for a little while to see how this turns out. But <laughs> as you'll see later, I wasn't really successful with it. So I kind of changed the colors totally. I was trying not to use the same colors as I did with um, um, as cat hands used. So I just kind of kept playing with them because I needed my colors to blend. So I figured I would use some white to kind of blend them out. Also, I showed where I used um, the Dilutions Creative Journal to do my morsels yeah I just wanted them in a uh, binder that I could collect all the techniques in so yeah now I'm going to attempt to blend this out with some white and I'm going to use a stencil to do it I was thinking about that cloud stencil but as I put it on top it doesn't look like it will work so well for me so I'm looking for another stencil. I'm hoping that the stencil that I pick, which is the star, is a ranger stencil. I'm going to use this star, but not as a star, but only for the image, for the prints that's on there. And I'm trying to kind of blend it in so I could mute that blue that uh, clotting helmet color mm, it's getting a little better but not to my satisfaction yes yeah, so I kind of keep playing with it mm -hmm. I got the edges I figured if I put some white on the edges that it would yeah kind of blend it out some mm. So I'll play with it for a little while longer and see if I could kind of tone those colors down. Is it working for me? Not so much because the butterflies that I want to put on the page are not popping. So I'm having to decide, okay, now what? So I tried taking white and blending it into the page. And I continue to do that for quite some time. Yeah. To tone down that blue. I think that blue was the wrong color to use. So 
and then I take my butterflies and put them on top and I'll see now that mm, the butterflies are not going to work on there um, and then I show you how I cut out my butterflies I figured okay let me stop looking at that background I show you how I color cut out my butterflies and I just took a piece of paper whatever size you want the butterflies folded in half and I cut I just did it by hand I just cut um, the paper and I used printed paper I cut it in the shape of a butterfly what I thought a butterfly would look like yeah so this is a smaller one because I had some that were larger or medium size yeah so yeah so that's the size I'm thinking I may incorporate on this page and now I just figured I would show you what I did with the butterfly I figured if I go ahead and do the butterflies um, you know outline those and doodle on them that I may be able to see the butterflies on the page a lot better yes yeah, so here I'm using my Posca paints um, and this is the larger size pen that I'm using I tried with the smaller size but couldn't really get the edges so this is one of the smaller ones that I'm showing you how I outlined them I did the outsides first yes that's the Posca paint and there's two sizes that I'm using I decided to use the, that's the medium point one I think I have a large I have mediums and I have some fine ones some thinner ones so I decided to go ahead and show you how I doodled and this smaller one I think I did a, I was doing a little too much yeah so even after I put the outlines or doodled on it mm, that small one had too much uh, of the doodling in it so I decided not to use it and I decided to go ahead and use my colors uh, my Posca pens or markers um, right now I'm trying to prep this one it wasn't prepped yet so I decided not to use that color I found a different color to use and uh, yeah I decided to go ahead and use this color yeah this was a long process <laughs> trying to figure this out but I finally got it I think I'll sit down one day and just make a bunch of these butterflies so that I would have them ready to use on my pages when I get ready to make some more pages like this okay so I'm finishing off the butterflies and um, as you can see I don't know what I did with the footage to my finished butterflies and how I changed the page but yes this is my final page and I'm cutting some more butterflies here I was thinking I needed another smaller one but I decided against it yeah but uh yeah this is the page that I decided to go with Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.